Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExeroAutomation.com and welcome to another video for Exero Automation. and today we're going to talk about testing tools and services to learn in year 2021. It's year 2021 and if you are already in automation testing and if you are already doing some automation testing with different tools and if you really wanted to learn something on a new tools in testing in year 2021, I think this video will really really going to help you. So before we actually jump into the actual question of the of the testing tools to learn in 2021 let's talk about the test automation testing tools principles in general so because every testing tools is actually coming to the market for a specific reason and these reasons are the actual reason why we actually need to go to choose that particular tool for getting our job done these principles are the most important thing that we need to uh, factor about while choosing an automation testing tool to even learn and implement for our organization which, are, which we are working on. So the first principle is going to be this one, support of modern web browsers and platforms. So there are many different modern browsers available like Chrome, Edge Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Safari, uh, and you know, many different browsers which are Chromium based like Brave and stuff. So these browsers has to be supported by the automation testing tool that we are choosing in and also the platform like windows or unix and uh, linux and mac operating system so if we have support to these platforms and browsers so probably that is the most important thing that we need to really really have our support to have within our tool that we are choosing with and the next one is the support of the modern language binding like c sharp javascript uh, java python uh, and Go language. So these are some of the language which we really need to have as a support uh, within the tool so that we can extend the tool for the uh, language tech stack that we are actually going to work with uh, within our company. And then the support of modern web application tech stack like Vue.js, uh, AngularJS uh, and you know all those new React uh, applications. So all these modern web applications should be supported uh, I mean supported in the sense like everything is going to be rendered as a DOM at the end of the day but you should have a better way to automate these applications uh, not like some components are not going to be supported something like that so that should be there within the tool that we are choosing with as well so that's one of the major important principle and similarly support of extendability by the third parties like if this particular tool that we are going to choose should be supported by the third party tool as an extensibility for example selenium is a tool which is something extended by many third party uh, testing tools like uh, test project catalon studio and many other company that you can name with so these companies leverage the power of selenium and they try to use that as a service within their company and they try to build on the top of it so the testing tool that we are choosing in it should actually support the extensibility as well and should be uh, enabling other testing tool to run uh, on the top of it and then support of ci cd docker or any modern platform integration is something very very important we know that the whole world is like uh, going towards ci cd faster delivery agile process and stuff so this is something very important as well and finally open source are open source to a certain degree so meaning that our testing tool that we are choosing should be either open source or open source to certain degree so that the community can actually uh, implement some of the codes that they are looking for or maybe suggest some changes uh, to, the, to, the, to the product so that the product can actually bring in those changes something like that so that's really really important as well so these are some of the most important principles that I could see as a baseline for any testing tool to have so that we can choose that particular testing tool within our organization well as that said this is the most important principle that we need to really really have in place while choosing the testing tool that we are going to be choosing or learning for that particular year probably 2021 well we know that there are many testing tools available and because of many testing tools there is always going to be many confusions and if you see holistically why there are so many testing tools available on the market well I think this one is the most important thing every testing tools created in the market are created to address specific problem and this problem always changes and so are the tools well that is true right I mean uh, while the QTP was there uh, they actually very very intrinsic costly 
and they support only Windows application well, not for the browsers, but Selenium came in, they changed the whole ecosystem. And then Cypress came, Playwright came, they are changing the whole ecosystem as well. So now you can see that these testing tools are coming in during a specific point of time and they're changing the way the testing has to be done. And I think they're trying to address a specific problem uh, and they're trying to uh, even enhance uh, or uh, leverage the problem in a much better way. And that's what I think. Well, as that said, let's get to the point, like which tool to start. And as I told you, there are many automation testing tools available on the market, but if we see all the principles that we discussed before, based on that, I have chosen three most important testing tool to learn in 2021, if you have not learned already. And these are the testing tools you need to watch in 2021 because it's really, really emerging. And those testing tools are these. Playwright, I've been talking about Playwright a lot. You guys know that. Playwright is pretty amazing. It is cross-platform, uh, open source, free to use, and it support all the modern browsers. Also, it has many uh, modern language binding support like C-sharp, Java, JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Go, uh, and they're also implementing many language supports, and they have modern uh, way to run the test on, the, uh, on their own test runners like Folios, and they also have a very good documentation we have a course on that and again playwright is developed by microsoft team and you know that microsoft is a big company they are going to maintain this uh, tool pretty well so this tool is something you really need to watch and i guess this tool is pretty well enough and cool because it has all the modern features that is really required for us to automate the application so playwright is the tool to actually watch in 2021 and to learn in the year 2021 well the next tool is our old tool, actually. You might have already heard this tool, Cypress. We have been talking about this for past couple of years. This guy is still there. It's actually an amazing tool as well. It has all the features that I told you on the Playwright, uh, and also it has a great dashboard, which you can run the test on parallel. You can monitor the, uh, the test execution on the parallel and how you can actually integrate the test running in Circle CI or any CI, you name it, and it, it works pretty well. I mean, this is amazing tool as well. It's free to use. And if you're going to use it for parallel, probably in different machines, uh, then you need to pay uh, to the dashboard basically. But you can still use it free uh, if you're going to run that on perm, something like that. And the last tool is most popular tool. We always love this tool, Selenium. Selenium is still evolving. Selenium 4 is going to change the way the Selenium is actually being called so far. Uh, it has the CDP support or the Chrome DevTool protocol support coming pretty soon. All the language binding supports. I'm not going to really talk about this guy because Selenium is pretty old. I think from 2009, Selenium is still there. Uh, so it's pretty old tool, amazing tool. And this is again on the top three testing tool to learn in 2021 if you have not learned already. So that's about the top three testing tool to choose in year 2021 and to learn in year 2021. And let's talk about the testing services to choose and learn if you have not really heard about them already. So again, testing services is now kind of getting evolving as you can see, like from last year, a lot of companies are really pitching in. I mean, not from last year, at least from past two years, you might have seen that there are many different companies evolving. And some of the testing tools you might have already heard uh, would be like the Lambda test or test project or the a browser stack and all these companies are really really pitching in and they're trying to bring in some of the major improvements and focus right now i mean the way the cordless test automation improving right now is kind of drastic than compared to uh, the past two years you might have seen like within uh, two years the way that automation happens in the cordless space is actually improving and we thought that the cordless automation is not going to be really pitching in but it is actually changing the landscape and probably the cordless automation is going to evolve pretty soon and these testing services are going to play a key role on that we're talking about the testing services let's talk about the top five testing service principle which should be there while choosing that particular service if you can see over here support of modern web browser and platform is still applicable for the testing services as well this is really really important because we are at the end of the day going to run the test on these browsers and platform 
very important for that. And then enterprise grade scale and security is super important because if you're going to run a test on a service and if our application is something very secure and if you're going to run that on these services then this enterprise grade scale and security should be there and should be promised to us because we cannot just run our production grade application on and promises which is not ours so this is super important to have this in place and if a testing service company going to implement this if they have all the certifications complying how uh, that uh, the data is going to be maintained how the privacy is going to be maintained then this is going to be a breakthrough for the company which is going to run this particular service basically because if you have seen while the cloud was introduced while the azure cloud was introduced or the while the aws cloud was cloud was introduced lot not lot of people actually really really uh trusted that they're gonna run their app on the cloud but now you can see the scale like how the companies are actually running the application on the cloud so the whole landscape has changed right now like all the companies are moving towards cloud hybrid clouds and their own local clouds to put their data and soon these services may create their own uh, service to run on their local cloud or maybe on a super secured uh, way to run the enterprise grade security applications probably that's going to happen soon and this is something very very important that the enterprise grade scale and security should play a key role while choosing that particular application and then the smart with ai and especially with the computer vision api and in-house ai solutions because the most important uh, pitch for the services company last year was actually the auto healing capability like it automatically heals your ui and then fix the problem if it is created by the developers or the change in the uh, the ui and things of that nature and many companies like test project uh, and the apply tools and these companies really talked about it and even in test this company brought all the changes uh, with auto healing capability uh, and they brought actually those changes last year which was pretty fast actually uh, and the power of ai is now getting into the product slowly slowly and steadily and i think pretty soon the smart ai is going to be introduced in all the testing services and that's going to be a huge benefit than compared to the testing tool that we are going to be talking about like playwright or uh, cypress or selenium itself so this is one of the most important thing to talk about uh, while we uh, while we see the principles of the uh, testing services and then integration I mean, integration is super important as well because you need to integrate the testing services not just with their service, but with our services which are running our companies like CI CD services like uh, Bamboo or Circle CI, Jenkins, Azure DevOps, and GitHub Actions, some things of that nature. So, all these integrations should be there in place while we choose the particular service. So, once the developer check ins the code, this should automatically uh, trigger the test on the testing services, run the test for us and send out and report maybe the graph and things of that nature. Uh, and that is the cool thing that we can see on the testing services because nothing is there in our side. Everything is going to be on the services like Spotify <laughs> and those tests is going to run for us and we're going to report, we're going to get the report instantly. Uh, and that's going to be an awesome uh awesome thing and this integration is super important while choosing the testing services as well and finally extendable via apis and these testing services because they are going to sit on their uh, on the third party uh, services we should have an ability to control those uh, api uh, those services via an api from within our code for example running a test and getting a report and uh, probably seeing all the report in one shot uh, and we can we need to customize those report and things of that nature if we want to do all these things we should have an api being exposed by these services so that we can consume within our test uh, code or developmental code and then we can see how it actually works and how we can consume the data how we can trigger the test and all those stuffs i mean that's some of the most important principle that we can see holistically about the testing service principle so as you can see these are the five most important principles i think i would have missed some of the uh, most important principles as well to my knowledge i think this is something very very important so feel free to just add uh, some services uh, that is should be there as a principle uh, for the testing services just put them in the comments below uh, we can talk about that as well but that's what i think really well 
That's about the top five testing service principles. So what are the five or what are the testing services to actually choose and learn for 2021? Then I would say these are the most important services which I think we can actually rely on in year 2021. Like test project, completely free. You can really use this. Uh, it has AI capabilities and all those uh, kind of stuff. It's an amazing tool. We talked a lot about this, uh, this tool, by the way. And then test him they have uh, a lot of free ability as well it's an ai based tool uh, you can create tests you can run them on a many different uh, platforms and stuff it's an amazing tool as well we have video series on that as well lambda test you know the cross browser way of running the test and how you can control the test from different uh, environments it's amazing tool as well and apply tools it's an ai based tool vision based uh, vision api enabled tool you can actually run uh, the test on uh, by the comparison of uh, the different images and how it recognizes those images and how you can control the browsers and application based on that we know about this tool as well this is another most important tool to to look in year 2021 and then yen test it's amazing tool again it has all the capability that i really talked about compared to those tools it also has the security and enterprise grade scale so that is the most important thing that this tool actually offers and finally browser stack is pretty matured primary sponsor for selenium they have all the different uh, features that i was talking about in all these different tools and this is amazing tool as well well you can see that we have so many services we have some free services we have some paid services uh, and these tools have offers different uh, level of features uh, and uh, customization uh, based on how you really wanted to run your test on these platforms. Well, as that said, these are the testing services that we can learn and rely on in year 2021. And I think it's going to change pretty quickly. The landscape is changing very fast. Market knows that this is a good business and a lot of companies are really pitching in at this particular point of time. So hopefully by year 2022 when we talk um, we should see a lot of different new services with a lot of new capabilities but yes these are the services to watch in 2021 well as i said this is the testing tools and services to watch in year 2021 and to learn in year 2021 let me know if i'm missing some other tools and services on the comments below we can talk about that but definitely these are the uh, tools and services to watch in year 2021 to my knowledge once again thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.